complaints were a plenty here at Chambers Bay, and the golfers had their say on the way out the door. Many players bashed not only the golf course, but the USGA after today's final round. Ernie Els said the greens were no longer alive. Rory McIlroy said he'd be okay if the Open came back here in 20 years. But Billy Horschel, he may have had the strongest comments. I think a lot of players, and I'm one of them, have lost uh, some respect for the USGA and, and this championship this year um, for the, the greens. And not only the greens, and one of the biggest issues I have is for the fans. We're, here we are in the Pacific Northwest where we haven't been in the, since late 90s for the PGA Championship, and this, the viewing is awful. Guys, we expected this. We've heard it all week long leading up to this tournament. We've heard it after rounds one, two, three, and on the way out the door, they're having their say, Eamon. Yeah, and it's not without justification. Billy Horschel made some fairly strong comments there, but the course was borderline the last couple of days for sure. But it's very easy to be cynical about this. There's nowhere in the rules of golf that they're entitled to pristine conditions. Yesterday, Ian Poulter, after vowing uh, silence on the subject all week long, decided to retweet a link to Gary Player's interview yesterday where he lambasted this course and said, Gary Player has said it all for me. Well, if Gary Player had hit the ball for him, maybe he would have actually played better in this tournament as well. You can dismiss the guys and what they say about this golf course unless their name is Jordan Spieth. That, it sounds like sour grapes. Yeah, the USGA, the, store, the condition of this golf course is always going to be something we, re we remember about this event. But the USGA actually, I think, dodged a bullet here late in the day on Sunday because this finish trumps everything about that we've talked about the golf course all week and so the story of the, the condition of the golf course goes from being the top of the page down the way behind everything that happened on the 18th hole so uh, I think the USGA and Mike Davis they they are breathing a little bit of a sigh of relief here tonight yeah when just when you get the names we had atop that leaderboard something went right and it seems like it was really not more about the course just the greens that were the biggest complaint. I always find it a bit distasteful when the players kind of take to the podium and decide to really just take down the golf course and talk about all the things that were wrong and 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 how they are losing respect for the USGA. I mean, what a thing to say. I, I really I really thought that reflected very poorly on Billy Horschel, who's generally known as a really fun character and, and a good guy. And he shot three under par today, so I don't know why he had so much complaining to do. But, um, you know, it's it's never a good idea to, to do that kind of thing after the round. And um, I personally don't like it. Eamon mentioned Ian Poulter, who retweeted Gary Player's interview. Well, today he released like an essay form mm -hmm. on Instagram. Basically, pretty much said these were the worst putting surfaces he's ever putted on in his career on any tour. So Poulter never shy of... Did anyone proofread his essay before he published it? <laughs> Can you go long form on Instagram? You guys are the editors. You guys, you guys take a look at that.